like a bunch of Colin Hoover. How'd you know that? Did I tell you that? So it's a witchcraft book. It's like stalker <laughs> and ghost. <gasps> she can like talk to animals. Oh. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. This is Cole. Hi guys. I mean, it's cool. And today we're gonna have him tell me the plot of books that I've read based on just the covers of the book. So he's gonna be judging books by their covers. So I'm just gonna pick from my Goodreads. That's how I remember the books that I've read. And I'm gonna show y'all the cover and I'm gonna show him the cover. And then he's gonna tell us the synopsis of the book. Okay. Cause you know all the books that I've read, right? I know all the books. Yeah, you remember them. Like a bunch of Colin Hoover. Mm -hmm. It's about it. Okay, We're, we'll start off with the last book that I read. Okay. This is the cover. The Fourth Wing. Fourth Wing. This is it. It's, it's about dragons. And, um... Yeah? So, they raise these dragons. No, no. The dragon chooses them. Like, it's like an ancient dragon. And it, like, chooses you based on uh, your, like, personality type. Okay. How did you know that? Really? How did you know that? Did I tell you that? No. That the dragon chooses the person? I free I bet I told you that. Uh uh, I just get that vibe. <laughs> From this cover. Yeah. Anything else about it? Um, like the synopsis or like what's it about? Like I think they get these, you know, dragons and they it's kinda like how to train your dragon. I've never seen where that. Where they like train their their dragons and you know, like fight them fight fight the dragons. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Am I right? No. Well, kind of. So, Fourth Wing is about this girl, Violet, and she's forced to be in the Riders Quadrant. Mm, no, it should be Riders and Dragons. And it's basically like this school or like this course where you go through and like people die throughout it. And then like at the end of the course, if you make it that far, then you're like a part of like basically like military of dragons and riders. This one says fly or fly die. Fly or die. Okay. So, yeah, pretty intense. That one's pretty intense. I a four out of five stars. Is that the one that was really, really long that you're talking about? Yes, it was so long. Okay, and then this is another book that I read recently. Mm. The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. What can you tell me about this book? So, The Housemaid, it's about this family who they're on vacation and they get this house and there's this housemaid. So basically, she's like this like stalker <laughs> And she like watches them, you know, yeah. when they're sleeping and stuff. Sus. Yeah, so basically the housemaid actually ends up being a ghost. <gasps> and this, that's it. That, the, that's uh, the end? Yeah. The end. Wow, that was really good. Is that right? No, right. not at all. What's it about? It's about this girl who like just got out of prison and she needs a job and this lady hires her to be their maid. So it's like the lady and her husband and their daughter and then she stays in the attic and the attic door like locks from the outside mm -hmm. and then she just like finds some very weird things about this family, especially like the wife starts acting like really weird and yeah it's pretty crazy it was a bunch of plot twists i read it in a four i wasn't very stars. close no. no no there's definitely no ghosts it's not a spoiler i think i told you about this one last time so let's see if you can get it this time did i say that we already filmed this video and then i realized that the audio in it was terrible so hopefully this is better this is the next one i had him guess this last time so maybe he can remember i think that this cover is pretty easy to um guess what it's about if you really pay attention okay it's a Beauty and the Beast <laughs> retelling, but there's there, but there's fairies. Yeah. And so yeah, there's just so basically there's just this king, and he's the Wolf King. He's like a werewolf or something. Cause you know there's Belle, but she goes by a different name. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Werewolf King, he ends up eating her, and the fairies bring her back to life or something. Yeah, I mean no. Is he a werewolf though? Yeah. Really. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, good job. I was close enough. <laughs> you were close enough. That was easy because at the bottom it literally says a Beauty and the Beast retelling. But last time he didn't get it. Wasn't that the wild? Wasn't that Curse of the Wolf King? Yeah. Okay, let's do this one. I also showed you this one last time. This one is My Year of Rest and Relaxation. Oh yeah, so this one, you know she that? actually goes into a coma. You and said that last time, and that's <laughs> not true. So, no, she doesn't go into a coma. She wakes up from a coma. You said this exact same thing last time. Anyway, so she... <laughs> anyway. So she has a... Uh, you don't remember. No. 
So you think? So let's just go ahead with she wakes it. she wakes up from a coma, yeah. and then she's like, um, I gotta make I gotta I gotta make back what time I lost. Yeah. Yeah. That's really powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that not it? No. Mm -hmm. It's about this girl who's depressed and her family has died so she has like a bunch of money that she's inherited so she decides that since she feels like there's no purpose in her life that she's just gonna sleep away the year so she takes a bunch of pain medication or so she just, she, she induces herself of, into a coma yeah but she doesn't well she wakes up and then she just like is oh. still kind of like delirious and she takes a bunch of medication that makes her kind of not just, remember anything yeah. kind of like sleepwalk and stuff mm -hmm. but yeah and it's literally her year of resting resting and sleeping her whole year away trying to sleep her whole year away it was pretty good i liked that book i rated it a three out of five stars see if you can guess what my favorite book is about there we go magnolia parks and by jessa hastings my favorite book series ever magnolia parks takes place in uh the united kingdom and there's this girl named magnolia or no her name is um ah uh, ah uh. He's trying to look at the description. <laughs> Her name is not Magno. Her name is Magnolia Parks. So there's this country club, and um, they got a really old tree at this country club. There's like wolves and and deer that come to this tree at the country club. And uh, where's the country club? Well, that's where I'm getting the, the whole thing that from. But like, she can like talk to animals. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So this is a fantasy book. Yeah. Okay. It takes place in the UK. Of course, it's a fantasy book. The UK is a fantasy book. The UK doesn't exist. Okay. Is that all? I think that's about it for Magnolia Parks. <laughs> that's about it for Magnolia Parks. Magnolia Parks is a girl who talks to animals at, I got that at part a country right. club. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were describing. <laughs> okay. Magnolia Parks is about this girl, Magnolia, mm -hmm. and she is in a toxic relationship with BJ Ballantyne. Is he an animal? No. She can't talk to animals? BJ is the wolf and Magnolia is the deer. This so they is, are animals? No, but like, that's what, like she, I think he calls her like his deer or something like, because she's like kind of like a deer in the headlights, acts dumb. Basically all of the, all of these like mean something, all of this like, images like mean something yeah it's basically about bj and magnolia and their toxic relationship in uh the high society of i, don't know, that's London. That's London. I think yeah i think they're in london so they're in london yeah it's amazing it's really amazing but it is cool that like once you read it all of these like things like make sense you oh, know yeah. I'm about to get her started on um, Attack on Titan, hopefully. Oh no, he's turning this into his anime rant. Okay. <laughs> you know Daisy Jones in the Six. Oh yeah, really? she's actually wearing With my that Daisy one. Jones in the Six shirt. Here, look. There we go. Daisy Jones and the Six. Tell me what it's about. So, Daisy Jones and the Six is a band. So Daisy Jones, she's like an old woman now, and she's being like interviewed about her time singing with the Six, and it's it's a really interesting one because it goes into detail about their shenanigans <laughs> and music. Shenanigans. Yeah, but that was right for the most part. But all of them gets interviewed, not just Daisy. Uh, they all get interviewed. I could have sworn there was one where it was like, that's the notebook. I'm thinking of the notebook. What? What do you mean? I think it was like the ending of, or the beginning. They like die. Yeah. <laughs> good job. That was pretty good. Is there more? We'll do like two more. Okay. Oh, Bunny. Is that the horror one? Yeah, can you tell me what Bunny's about? Here, let me show them the picture of Bunny. I did not like this book. Oh, also Daisy Jones and the Six, five out of five. Bunny, on the other hand, I rated this book like a two. I just don't think I understood the concept very well, and it made me feel creepy and gross. Bunny is about this... I've definitely told you the premise of Bunny before. You have. Bunny is about this... See, bunny is a metaphor for, um, like, the, so, like, there's this girl and she's, like, a bunny or something, or her name's Bunny or something, and she ends up, like, dying by... Do you know, like, when you tell a synopsis she, like, of the book, it's not you telling <laughs> the whole outcome of the story? 
You know, it's just a girl named Bonnie, and she goes out with that wasn't, dude, that and wasn't she, and any she, spoilers. He's just making stuff up. Okay, okay, let me give you a hint. It's just about this girl who's in college. She's like a, an English like student kind of thing, and then she kind of gets into this cult. That doesn't she help joins this cult, and she ends up getting turned into a bunny. I don't know. Okay. What is the significance of the bunny? Because uh, there's like a lot of significance to the bunny actually. They, but the main point of it is it's this about this girl. Oh, she's a selected MFA program at New England's Warren University. So she's a student at a university and she doesn't really have a lot of friends. And these girls, like this group of girls, invites her to join in on their, it's like called a smut salon or something. Uh -huh. And and they call each other the bunnies. Like they all refer to each other as bunny. You know like in Barbie, how like everybody's Barbie? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Everyone's bunny. And then just really weird stuff happens. It's really weird. So it's a witchcraft book, if you're not into witchcraft. I, I don't know, but it's like, it's one of those where it's like an unreliable narrator. Like you don't know if this is real or not. You know what I'm uh, saying? Like you don't know if, if this is all just like made up, if she's on drugs, because basically they are like taking drugs. So, it was crazy. The X Hex. I loved this book. I remember when she was reading I this. loved this book. It just had the perfect like fall Halloween-y vibes. Felt like Halloween Town or something. So the X-Hex by Erin Sterling. So there's this girl and she's a witch. So it's like, you know, it's a, it's a family thing. They're all like witches and, mm -hmm. and magic and stuff. She meets this dude. It's her ex. She didn't meet him. She known him. Her ex. She she basically hexed her ex. It's like in the title and She made him fall back in love with her. That's your That's so. This book is about this girl, this witch. Yeah, like at the beginning of the book, she breaks up with this guy and accidentally curses him. Mm -hmm. And then finds out like later that the guy is cursed. So then she has to work with him to undo the spell that she put on him. So yeah. I really liked it. It was good. That's a good one. Okay, I guess that's it. Do you want to do one more? Yes. Okay. I'll pick one. Okay. He's gonna pick the last one, guys. You can't do one that you like. No. This is getting into. Ah, you can't do that. You can't do that one. It's this one. Okay. Be Tree by Emily Henry. Is this because you know about this book? I know of this book. We did this one last time. Okay, so this is the one he chooses for his last guest. Betrayed by Emily Henry. So Betrayed is about about these people that are at the beach and they they're both reading the same book and they just so happen to they just so happen to like notice that they're reading the same book. So they I'd like you to know I told you the synopsis last time. We did this like uh, three four weeks ago and I just I, yeah, I, don't, I remember. don't remember. But yeah, so they like read the same book and they notice and they start talking and they end up going on a date. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Were you like really looking at the <laughs> picture? Okay, so she's actually an author because she has a pencil and he is an avid reader of her works and he's all like, oh, that's my favorite, that's my favorite author at uh -huh. the beach and they fall in love and go on a date. Oh, I fall in love and then go on a date. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no. But that was a good guess, because like it looks like she's writing and he's not. Oh, they're both authors. They're both authors and they're like both in like a writing slump. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, they like switch genres and they write each other's genre. And then they like go on excursion type of things that correlate where with the other person's genre to kind of get some like creative juices going. Just get some creativity up in there. Yeah, it's up in there. Hey, did you have fun? I had fun. Did you learn so much about my books that I read? I learned some. We'll do it, yeah. we'll do it again in two weeks. <laughs> what? See if I remember them. Yeah, we'll do the same ones and see if he remembers them. Next time we're gonna do something that's like, she actually has to be interested in stuff that I'm watching. Yeah, he enjoys anime and he tells me about his anime. She wants to start Avatar. It's yeah. not an anime, but it's a, it's a, a start. start. It's a good start. I think so. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. Thanks, guys. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. See y'all next time.